Today I'm going to be doing a quick video showing you how to track a thank you page as a conversion in Google Ads. So let's just say I'm offering a free Google Ads audit and I'm sending traffic to this page through Google Ads and I want to track every time someone fills out this form. The very first thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that your form, and I am using WP Forms here, is set up with a confirmation that goes to a URL and redirects somebody to a URL when they fill out the form. That's the very first step you want to take if you want to track a thank you page. You can use the same thing whether it's order confirmation, any type of URL that you want to track when somebody visits it will work using this method. So coming over here to our contact form, I'm going to fill this out very quickly. Okay, so somebody fills out their information. We scroll down, they click on submit, and now they automatically go to this thank you page that I have set up. So now let's track that as a conversion in Google Ads. A quick 30 second promotion. If you like my content, I have a Google Ads course available, 21 lessons over 10 hours for $34.99. You can access it by going to surfsidepppc.com slash course. That will give you all the information you need to run successful Google Ads campaigns. If you're interested in learning how to drive more leads for your business, join Surfside Inbound. It's $4.99 a month. It's available on Patreon. It's available through my YouTube membership, and you'll get access to all of my premium content, including a five and a half hour inbound marketing course. Thank you, and let's get back to the video. As we come over here to Google Ads, I have my account open. Where you want to go first is to goals and you want to go to conversions and summary. So within here is where we want to create our conversion action. And the way that I'm going to track this today is using Google Tag Manager. So I've opened up my Google Tag Manager account for Surfside PPC as well. Now, if you see Google Tag Manager here, that means we need to install Google Tag Manager on our website. So what I'm going to do is come over here to admin. Within here, we need to do install Google Tag Manager. If you don't have this account already, then create a free Google Google Tag Manager account. And these are the two pieces of code that we need to place on our website. So one as high as possible underneath the opening head tag, one immediately after the opening body tag. So we're going to come back over to a plugin that will allow us to do this. So this may vary depending on the website platform you're using. I would say the majority of people are using WordPress. So if we're in WordPress, you want to go to plugins and you want to go to add new plugin. And from there, you want to search WP code and you want to install the WP code plugin. So I already have that installed here. And on the left hand side, it is going to come up as code snippets. So we're going to go to code snippets and we're going to go to header and footer. Okay, so this is what that looks like. I just remove these codes. So we're going to come back over and copy this come back over to our website here and paste this one. You want to do it at the very top of the header here. So you want this to be the first piece of code that you put here. Come back over to Google Tag Manager, copy the next piece of code, come back over and this one goes right underneath the opening body tag. And we click on save changes. And now we have settings saved. So now we have Google Tag Manager installed on our website. So the next step is setting up our conversion action in Google Ads. So the way that we're going to do that is we're going to create a new conversion action, a website conversion. We can enter our website domain here now, and I'm going to click on scan. So they're going to have something that looks like this. We're going to skip that, and we're going to do create conversion actions manually using code, add the conversion action manually. And now we are going to set a goal and action optimization. So in this case, it would be something like a contact. Generally, I'll use contact for this or submit lead form. Those are generally going to be the ones that we use. So for this, I'll just use contact conversion action optimization options. You want it to be a primary action that we're using for our bidding. Next is going to be conversion name. So I will say now, since we're just using a standalone thank you page, I could just name it thank you page, but I'm just going to name it Google ads audit. Thank you page scroll down. We're going to use the same value for each conversion. Now, if you have multiple conversions and this is more valuable than another conversion, you could always increase this value to basically say this conversion is worth two X. What another conversion would be worth. Every other conversion is worth one X. So I do that a lot with phone call conversions because they generally convert better. So we're going to use the same value for each conversion and just set it as one. So it's just going to count every conversion as one for the count. We only want to do one. So when you're driving leads, you only want to do one conversion. Generally, I will make my click through conversion at window as long as possible, my engage view as long as possible, and I will make my view through conversion window as long as possible. I don't know that it makes a huge difference, but figure it can't hurt to have as much data as we possibly can. Attribution will be data driven enhanced conversions. We have managed through the Google tag and we're going to click on done. And now we can scroll down here, click on save and continue. And now we need our instructions and we're going to finish setting this up. So we're going to use Google tag manager. The one thing we need to do is make sure we have the conversion linker tag added. I'm not sure if I do yet. So we're going to copy this conversion ID 
come back over to Tag Manager, go to our tags. So I don't have conversion. I do have the Google Ads conversion linker tag here. So to set that up, you go to new, tag configuration, Google ads, conversion linker. And all you do need to do is name that tag. I generally just name it conversion linker and then do all pages, click on save and submit. So that's exactly how you set up the conversion linker. You can name it whatever you want, but conversion linker on all pages. Next, we're going to set up new and we're going to say thank you page. We could do Google ads audit. Thank you page. Just so we have consistent naming, even though that looks like a, just a thank you page for everything, but Google ads audit. Thank you page. We're going to go Google ads. We're going to do conversion tracking. And now we need to take that conversion ID that we had in the first step coming over here, copying that. And we're going to paste it right here. Okay, so we have our conversion ID. Next is going to be our conversion label. So that's going to be right here at the bottom. If you set up multiple conversions at a time, which you can do in the previous step, you can see all your labels there. Your conversion ID is always going to be the same for your account. So conversion label here, Google ads audit, thank you page. And we want to trigger this. We want to click on the plus sign here, click on the trigger configuration, and we're going to do page view, some page views when the page URL contains thank you. Okay, so basically this is just looking at any page URL that somebody visits on our website that contains thank you. So we'll do thank you page up here and we'll click on save and we will click on save again. Okay, and now we're gonna submit this. You can name it whatever you want. If you're working with people, you generally wanna do a good version name and description. I'm the only one working on my Google Tag Manager account, so I just put new and new. Probably they all look like that. Okay, so now we have this all added. So now we can test this. We're going to come back over to our workspace and we are going to click on preview and we're going to enter our website URL with thank you on it. So we could just come right over to our page here, the thank you page. We're going to copy this page, come back over to Google Tag Manager, click on preview. Okay, so we're debugging our thank you page specifically, tag assistant connected. We go to the thank you page. If we come back over here, what you're going to see if we scroll down, so Google Ads form, I've already set this up with a different name apparently, but you'll see Google Ads audit thank you page. This was a tag that fired. So desktop phone calls fires on every single page. So that's just firing, but that only counts if somebody actually calls our number and is on the phone for 60 seconds or longer. The Google Ads conversion linker tag fired. Google Analytics 4 tag fired. Our Fiverr gig click, which is another one I made in a different video, and mobile clicks to call did not fire. Just an example of how to track a thank you page in Google Google ads. And then when you are setting up your campaign, so we click on done here within your campaign, this is going to be, we have it under a contact conversion along with all these other conversions. So you just want to make sure within your campaign. So you're optimizing for this new conversion and you come over here, we click on this little gear icon. And then what we can do is make sure our marketing objective is leads. And for conversion goals, you just want to make sure that that conversion is one of the ones that we're optimizing for. So Google ads audit, thank you page. You could see no recent conversions. The the reason it says that is because it just tracked it through Google Tag Manager. So we set this up properly. We're optimizing our campaign now for anytime somebody fills out that form on our Google Ads audit page. So that is exactly how to set up conversion tracking for a thank you page in Google Ads. A quick 30 second promotion. If you like my content, I have a Google ads course available 21 lessons over 10 hours for $34.99. You can access it by going to surfsidepppc.com slash course that will give you all the information you need to run successful Google ads campaigns. If you're interested in learning how to drive more leads for your business, join Surfside inbound. It's $4.99 a month. It's available on Patreon. It's available through my YouTube membership and you'll get access to all of my premium content, including a five and a half hour inbound marketing course. Thank you.